Hello, I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for September the 24th through September the 30th. Um, welcome. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I really appreciate you and I hope that you enjoy these readings and that you will come back. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. Listen, guys, you know, you really touch my heart and, and, and you really help me through a very difficult week. Um, I want to apologize for only getting seven um, readings up last week. So I am going to start with Aries where I left off in, with uh, Pisces last week. So I'm going to start with Aries. I hope the Librans will forgive me. As soon as I've gone through to um, Virgo, I will then do uh, Libra and go on from there. Um, what else? Um, you really helped me. Thank you for all the wonderful sentiments about my mum. I really appreciate you. I'm using a green screen uh, with photographs from Nottingham, but um, I'm going to, each reading will be uh, my mum's window um, in the background. So it's her view of what she had in her house just before she was, um, she moved into the assisted living uh, apartment. She lived in Woolerton and here is the view out of her window. It was so pretty and this is only a section of her window. She had a lovely bay window. Um, anyway, I thought I would let you know that and of course this is in honour of my mum. I will be leaving for England next week. I may not get the readings up for a couple of weeks so I just wanted you to bear with me and please hang in there and come back. Um, and support me. I really, I would really appreciate that. Now, um, these are general readings, guys. Uh, I will start with an astrological reading and you can skip that if you're checking out your sun, moon and rising. Um, but the astrological reading is quite interesting this week and that will go on every video. The format will change um, probably in uh, maybe the end of October or November. Um, I'm going to tailor each uh, reading for each sign um, so they'll be different and uh, what what else oh, these are general readings like I said if you would like a personal reading you can click here and find out more information um, and if you just want to support me and I can tell you I could really use <laughs> support right now uh, with everything that's going on and um, you can check me out on patreon and you can click on here for Patreon. Um, okay, so let's go into the astrological report, shall we? Look, we're starting off the week with a full moon in Aries. Now, moons are very um, emotional anyway, um, but this moon in particular is quite emotional. I mean, of course, all the water signs, you know, definitely feel it, but it's right next to Chiron. Um, and Chiron is the wounded uh, healer. So we're going to find a lot of uh, our childhood wounds may come up. You know, some, some issues that we, you know, look, they may be brought up and that's great, right? Because this is a time that we can look at them, um, feel them and then release them. Um, so this is a great opportunity to do that. We may have some uh, issues this week with our, there are several other aspects going on. I'm just going to give you a general energy for the week. Uh, we may have some challenges with our relationships uh, this week. So we could be quick to um, be angry so it's really important to think before we speak and react and try to avoid uh, conflict but whatever happens this week there are lessons here and there are obstacles that we can overcome these are opportunities for us to overcome these obstacles um, on on the positive side we are going to have a lot of energy um, and so we will be, you know, we will be um, energized to be ambitious and to do things and have that get up and go. So that's a good thing. Um, just 
you know, when something comes up for you, you know, retreat and have some self-reflection with it so that you can learn from it and move on. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet um, and because there is, you know, it, there's a lot going on this week. Um, I, I just... I just want to mention the the full moon is always a culmination of things. We will be letting things go. We will be letting relationships go. Um, it is important for us to really look and see what is working for us and then release that which is no longer working for us. It's, sometimes we, we fight to hang on to things that don't work for us. This, this full moon is definitely, a, well, all full, full moons are, um, a culmination or an ending, right? Um, a completion of something. And, and this is particularly energized towards the completion of things. Um, relationships in kind of all areas, in, you know, at work, our boss. Some of us will be ending um, jobs. Some of us will be ending Perhaps if we have a business, we'll be ending some part of what we've been doing and no longer focusing on that and focusing on something else. Whatever this is, it's transformational right now. And so we will be, um, we will be going forward kind of renewed and different. I know I, for one, have really, f I've really felt the energy of this <laughs> full moon and some childhood issues came up for me and it was intense um, and but what I was able to do was I, I was able to you know really feel it you know it was primal crying uh, that I went through and when I came through it I was able to look at it um, I don't want to say dispassionately but from a distance and I was able to um, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I was able to discern and, and I was able to remove myself from those intense feelings and really see what was going on so that I could accept it and then just, you know, release it and move on. We don't have to feel that pain forever, but it is important that we go back and we feel it so that it's not affecting our lives in a negative way so that we can move forward without the shackles of the past on us. So this moon, this full moon, is, a real, is an amazing opportunity to remove those shackles. Just be willing to look at that. Be willing to look at that messy stuff. Sometimes it's messy, you know, we all have that. Um, but look at it so that you can release it. Um, so without further ado, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello Virgo and welcome to your reading for September the 24th through September the 30th and the first card out for you is the three of wands. The three of wands is asking you to see, um, first of all it's three is about expansion right um, and I, I, I think of Jupiter with this because this is about optimism and expansion, the number three, right? So this is asking you to see your future optimistically. It's about making long-term optimistic plans. It's about seeing, he's waiting for a ship to come in. He knows his ship is coming in and he's patiently waiting um, because he knows he's going to see it any second and he's just waiting for it to come in. So this is really seeing, look, things are going to work out for you and you need to really make those plans, optimistic, optimistic plans. And I'm not talking a few months, I'm talking a couple of years. Um, five, 10, 15 years. Um, clarifying it, you've got the hanging man. It's called the hanging man in this uh, deck. And look, he's just kind of hanging there, kind of artistically, looking at a situation from a different perspective. So what I'm getting is that there may be, you may have a pause in action right now. Things aren't moving and, and, and it's a difficult time sometimes staying still, right? Particularly for you, Virgo, because I know you like to be on the move. You like to be, you know, rushing, um, doing things, busy, busy, busy. Well, this is saying, 
take this moment to take a look at everything from a different perspective. It's important that you see things in an optimistic way and to be okay without being busy. This is a time to just sit back and be patient. That's what I'm getting for you, uh, Virgo. And the next card you've got is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is you're exhausted. You're exhausted mentally and physically. Um, so this is saying, first of all, very, you know, at the very least, just get some sleep. Really make sure that you're getting enough rest. Go back to bed in the middle of the day if you need to. You need to be rested right now. Because if you're not rested, you're not going to be able to think clearly and you'll be ruled by your mind, you know, because you are ruled by Gemini and that's in your head going over and over and over. Um, I analyze, right? So, this is really important um, for you to get rest. I mean, ideally, if you can meditate and sleep well, then you really, and I'm going to tell you why. It's very important. Virgo, get some rest. You're really going to need it in order to handle what's going, coming up the pipe, as they say. The next card you have clarifying the Four of Swords is the um, eight of ones. That means really a lot of stuff is going to happen really fast. It's like you hit the road, you hit the ground running. So it's almost like you've had this time to reflect and to see things differently. And now you're going, so you really need to be rested because things are coming in. It's going to be a good busy. It's not going to be a bad busy. And you've got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is this, um, this is love coming in. It's you're going to feel the love. You're going to, I'm, I'm getting even emotional holding this card because you are going to feel the love from so many people. Um, feel it, take it in. But remember, it, it might be a little overwhelming for you, <laughs> um, Virgo. So you really need to, to rest. Um, to, be, to be able to receive this love. Um, and don't reject it. Receive it with grace and, and feel it. It's, go, it's, going to, it's going to be beautiful. This is really a beautiful, it's beautiful, this love coming in for you. The next card you have, though, darling, <laughs> is the devil. Now, the devil is, what it means is, it means that you're too connected to the material realm. It's and it's very it's almost being too practical, right? You're too practical and too pragmatic and 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 look at that. What's real okay, I'm gonna tell you what's really interesting, right? So look, it's Adam and Eve chained, right? Chained to this physical plane. Um, and they're, they're, they're the devil's uh, slaves, right? In this deck. <clears throat> they can't break free. Um, so this is like, take your focus off the material and practical um, uh, plane because you may be too pragmatic. In, and, and look, clarifying it is the two of cups. And look at that, that's love. So that's two, two lovers and there's two that are separated by the devil. Your practicality and your, your focus on the material is going to separate you um, from the love that's there for you. Oh, getting, my nose is itching, spirit is here. Okay, so this card is saying, put yourself in everyone else's shoes that you encounter. Put yourself, see yourself in everyone that you encounter. Because you may not, you may not see them, you may be so, practical right and so tied to the material you know this has got to happen this way and, and so tied to the outcome of something that you're you're not going to allow the love in and so you have to it, you're being asked I'm not saying you have to um, we're all we've all got free will but you're being asked to Put yourself, see yourself in everyone else. So reflect yourself in others. So you have to, it, it, this is about being kind, 
being compassionate, and giving the love back that, that is being given to you. So this is separating yourself from people, you see, from the love and people, um, and just focusing on, you know, this can, be, this can be addiction, this can be control, this is something that is just from this three-dimensional plane, right? And this is more spiritual. This is about, you know, understanding how others feel. This is about kindness, compassion, respect. This is about trying to understand how somebody else feels. So therefore you can treat them the way that they ought to be treated and the way you want to be treated, right? So it's giving to receive. You have all this love available to you. And so you must see things optimistically. You know, oh God, I'm really getting it. So you can have the tendency, and, and that's a trait that's, that works kind of in a work environment. It's great, right? That you can see the problems. This is asking you not to see the problems, to look at everything with love and compassion. Don't look for the problems in someone or something. And this is about people. This is about relationships for sure. Um, because you've got the cup, the knight of cups, you've got the ones. This is about seeing the love in a situation and seeing what's working. Don't look, don't look for what's not working right now. Okay, don't look for the problems, uh, Virgo. Look for the love and what's really happening and just put all that physical stuff, it doesn't matter, put it to the side and come out with love and joy and you don't have to make, you don't have to make everything right. You don't, you don't have to make everyone and everything right. This is a time to, um, this is a time to open your heart and you, you know, you don't have to fix everything is what I'm saying. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media and comment. I love comments and feedback. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you soon.